Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, I am Rajendra Bhatia, representing Creative Edge, one of the subsidies of Top Ranger. And I'm here to tell you something about material to be carried in JBR examination. So, friends, as per my promise from the last live, here I am to give you some very good tips on carrying material in the JBR examination. Friends, you know that having a proper set of material will not only save your frustrating time, will also save important time in your examination. Friends, here I am. If you have referred to your admit card page number two, point number 16, they say that you have to carry colored pencil or crayons as per your choice. Before that, they mention the pen. Friends, you have to carry a transparent pen. Prefer to take it 1.0 or 0.75, as thick a pen as you can and take it of black color. If you are in a routine with blue color, uh, well, you can take again one zero of that, but you should be carrying a transparent pen. Right, friends? Then I will like to tell you something onto the pencil for your sketching purpose. First of all, we should also know that the drawing section is only 100 marks. However, this alone out of 400, yes, but then this alone can make or mark your rank in JEBR. Because as far as maths and aptitude are concerned, you all can score very good marks. I mean, all smart, all good students will uh, be able to uh, achieve a level with, JE, uh, with uh, the uh, aptitude and mathematics. However, only few intelligent and smart candidates will be able to score in the drawing part of JEB ARC examination. And that is the catch of having a better rank and have a better college ultimately for which you are coming into a, a competitive exam. So friends, here are my tips. First of all, a transparent pouch, carrying pencils of three different grades, Altogether six pencils, that means two each. You can select 2B, 4B, or 6B. And do take two of 8B pencil, all well sharpened. Do not take a, a small sharpener with you. I am keeping these two sharpener in front of you so that you can make out the uh, difference. Now these two sharpeners, yeah, I, that happened uh, automatically the correct. Throw out the smaller one, take the bigger one. The bigger one sharpener will sharpen the pencil, although with two pencil each, you should be able to uh, solve both the question fairly well uh, as far as this is concerned. And I do expect the uh, one out, out of the two question to be done colored. For coloring, if it is a two dimension design to be done, remember, to outline it with the same uh, black ball pen, or if they allow you to take a micro tip pen into the examination, that do you please select one of uh, 0.8 or 0.7, a thick one to give outline to the two dimension design out of the two question in case there is a question on two dimension design. Do not try to give any outline to um, a question of, uh, um, of memory drawing. Remember that. Or even that of the enlargement or that of the portrait. Do not give an outline. Outline has to be given uh, or to be done with help of any good black pen. In JEBR, you can trust on to a 1-0 black 
ball pen also. So we have talked about the pencils and sharpener. Now let us come on to the eraser. Eraser, please have a non-dust eraser and two halves of another non-dust eraser. This one is to go into every nook and corner of the sketch should it be required. And on top of it, please carry a kneadable eraser. A kneadable eraser control the psychography, light, shade, and shadow. And this also can go into all nick, nook and corner of your drawing. Friends, having done this, they have already told you to take the geometrical compass box. I am also displaying bigger one, the set squares and all that, but take the smaller one so as to have only um, uh, half effort or maybe 15 centimeter, um, 20 centimeter worth of a uh, compass box. But you have to take out the compass uh, material and keep it in the transparent pouch. Friends, now I come on to colors. They have asked you to give or take only dry color. My suggestion take crayons, plastic crayons, and do not take oil pastel color. Take plastic crayons only. This can be sharpened. There are different sharpener uh, meant for such um, crayons. This has got a speciality that it is a bright one and on top of it, the mistake can be erased out of this. Do not take many of them. Reject the one which are pearl or glittering. Do not take the glittering crayons. Take selective colors. You can select beforehand one for analogous, other set of um, complementary color, third set of uh, the split complementary color. So this three altogether may not be more than seven, eight crayons in hand. There's no need of carrying a white crayon because you don't require it, okay? Apart from crayons, my suggestion, you take a thicker pencil color, set of thicker pencil colors. That means the broaden one. Why so? Because you can have this set, and that too, you don't have to take it on an opaque based this. You please select, all this, take them out and keep it in some transparent container. In last one of the video when I was taking it for UC, I told everyone to make a container of this kind from simple overhead projector sheet that is OHP sheets. This is beautiful transparent one and you can keep your pencil or crayons into it. That will satisfy the requirement of uh, the examination. Right, friends? So that is it. Any query, I will like you to uh, call on to 7676-564400. And do not forget to subscribe this channel because this is the one that will be all the more helpful to your friends. And of course, this is how you will remain connected with me. Not only that I am looking forward for you to take up this examination, there is even a second attempt of JEB ARC. So we will be even more prepared so that we can have a better rank. And uh, yes, NATA, because without clearing NATA, you don't get into an architecture college. So NATA has become a must for the last two, three years. So uh, I'll be uh, available to you uh, through this number and through your subscription, subscription to this channel. Fine, friends, I take your leave. Any other question, you are most welcome to ask me either live or maybe you could check up with my channel and this number.
thank you very much and i wish you all the best for your examination and i look forward for your presence even for preparing for nata nata national aptitude test for architecture and uh, the second attempt of jebr so stay connected and uh, uh, keep knowing more interesting very uh, useful information that i keep on pouring down to you all have a nice day and all the best for your 